follow after love. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 1. Let your love be your highest goal, but you should also desire the special abilities the Spirit gives, especially the ability to prophesy. Paul established many churches during his mission journeys and almost all the churches had some issues that are so specific to it. He knew he had to address them so that the people who become followers of Jesus are made to become disciples. If such discipling process had to take place, then there should be love for God and love for fellow human beings, without which disciple-making may never happen. Therefore, Paul declared to the churches that love should be their highest goal and nothing else. Why love? Paul wrote, Love covers over a multitude of wrongs, which was so powerfully expressed in the love of Jesus for his disciples and for us who follow him. Love does not keep record of bad events, but the human predicament is, we precisely remember the bad than the good. If God's love dominates us, such negative thoughts would vanish. Anyone who follows after Jesus, the old would be gone and newness would ensue. In love, Jesus forgives our sins and does not even remember them anymore like we do. He expects us to love the way He loved us. Our love for fellow brothers and sisters examines our allegiance to Christ the Lord. True love makes sense when we love whom we see, then love a God whom we have never seen. Let us cross-check if we really love God. If so, we should be able to love and forgive people who are around us. If that happens, then we know we have love, love of God. Is our love in action or in words? It is better that we have love in action. Follow after love. Amen.